Good morning. Welcome to CSR Simple Dhanbad. This institute is located in Dhanbad district of Jharkhand and it was established in the year 1946. Uh, it was called CFRI, Central Fuel Research Institute that time. And gradually in the year 1956, CMRI, Central Mining Research Station was established uh, by forgetting this one. And the year 2007, both the institutes, CFRI and CMRI were merged together and it was named as Central Institute of Mining and Fuel Research, SIMFAR. Uh, through this umbrella, we are taking care of all sorts of coal mines related activities, whether this is exploration, mine planning, exploitation, and uses of coal for different industries, coal quality assurance, coal quality grading, all sort of things including coal blending, whether you are getting coal from uh, imported sources, from Indian sources, for power sector, for steel sector, for cement and many other sectors, uh, whatever basic research is required. Uh, Simfer is doing, doing that one and uh, we can boast of having the one of the biggest global facility in coal R&D uh, involving in both the campus of CF, CFRI, CMRI and we have also units at uh, Bilaspur, Nagpur, Ranchi and Rurki from where we take uh, projects in different regions of uh, India and also we cover uh, imported coals for quality assurance so that importer can pay for that and also plan the research through for blending of the coal in what ratio the coal has to be blended for steel sector or power sector or many other sectors basic research and also grading is being done by us what is the likely grade of the coal by which cost this has to be sold to different industries and which coal is fitting to which industry through linkage committee Simfer has also major say in national policies. Recently there was one national committee uh, initiated by Niti Aayog and CEA where Simfer is taking active role as expert. I attended 2-3 meetings there and uh, we are preparing vision 2035. What is the likely energy scenario and what is the energy forecast? What is the energy deficit for the country up to 2035? And how we are going to meet out the challenge? Whether this is coal based energy, whether it is petroleum based energy, high del, tidal, solar, nuclear, any type of energy, uh, we are taking care of uh, the resources through Vision 2035. And uh, uh, I will be focusing more on coal because I am coal scientist here, basically a geologist uh, doing PhD from Banaras University and I specialize in coal science, coal petrology, etc. In the year 2016, on 28th June, there was one historic agreement in the Ministry of Science Technology, Government of India the presence of uh, Honorable Mr. Piyush Goyal, then Minister of Power and Coal both, and our Minister, Dr. Harshvardhan, where several of the uh, high-level dignitaries, including Secretary Coal, Secretary Power, uh, Additional Secretary, Secretary DST, Director General CSIR, and many more were there. And the historic agreement was signed to cover all Indian coals being supplied for power plants. Uh, right now we have done agreement with uh, almost all power plants of India and all all coal subsidies of uh, India under Coal India Limited and Singrani Coal India Limited and uh, we are covering around 250 sites loading and unloading sites, sites for coal uh, to assure the quality of the coal. What is the coal? being supplied to uh, different uh, power plants for under energy sector that is under tripartite and bilateral agreement and uh, uh, this project uh, is very prestigious one as a lot of stake is lot of economic uh, things are on stake 
and uh, but we can boast of having some achievements after the beginning of uh, 2016 till now uh, uh, there was drastic reduction in the import of coal for power sector in fact ntpc the giant uh, power producer did not import coal uh, from any country for two years some of the private sector plants imported because they had their boiler design according to imported coals. That's why it, it was binding on them to import the coal. But also sometimes there was temporary high demand of the energy and high demand of the coal. So Coal India could not produce the coal in that speed during rainy season. So uh, some coal was imported. But practically there is no need of importing coal because whatever coal uh, we are having in case we are supplying uh, desired quality, good quality coal to our power plants as per design of their boiler, our coal is sufficient enough to last for more than 400 years. It means we are not supposed to import coal and continue uh, uh, energy production through coal at the same pace uh, for more than 400 years. And uh, Hopefully, in energy sector, nuclear, solar, hydro, tidal, others will be coming. So, uh, there will be less need of power coal uh, uh, for energy generation. So, longevity of this coal reserve may last for even more than 400 years. Uh, in this mega project, uh, what we are doing, uh, entire system uh, of scientific uh, talent apart from the assigned basic research because we have uh, many mission projects and national strategic projects on energy and coal and many other mining sectors also every department in addition to doing their basic research they are also covering uh, uh, many areas of this research, this project also and uh, very frequently people are going to fields, uh, monitoring the activities as per SOP, as per guidelines, as per agreement given by Ministry of Coal and Ministry of Power. And uh, uh, more than 2,500 people are deployed at different mines and power plants, uh, loading and unloading sites. And uh, samples are being collected round the clock, prepared round the clock at site brought to simple laboratories located at Dhanbad, Bilaspur, Nagpur and Rachi. And uh, 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 per day we are uh, supposed to analyze the coal uh, grades in terms of uh, moisture content, total moisture content, uh, grass sulfuric value, equilibrated moisture as content and based on these parameters uh, we declare the coal grade whether coal falls under grade 1, G1 to G17. There are 17 coal grades for pricing purpose and also that uh, denotes the quality of the coal. G1 being the best one, uh, the energy uh, grass sulfuric value will be more than 7000 and uh, G17 being the worst one, the grass sulfuric value will be less than 2200. So, a specific power plants and coal mines have agreement. Somebody is asking for G5, somebody may need for G7, somebody may need for G5, G4, G3 even. You know, sometimes some of the power plants like uh, Kalgaon for a current TPC are designed for to accommodate G, uh, G12 and 13 grades, even inferior coals. So, uh, as per agreement, uh, uh, they have uh, got linkage from a specific mines and Simper team has ensured the uh, best quality possible whatever being supplied from the mines. Although there are constraints, sometimes uh, due to mechanized mines, it is very difficult to isolate the dirt. But on overall average of the month, you can see the average GCV has to be around that. Many disputes come in the way. Uh, which uh, type of disputes coal India and power sector used to face themselves among them. But nowadays being simpler in the uh, mid midway as a third part agency, we uh, behave like judges. And most of the disputes are resolved by us only. 
but uh, in case of still some uh, dissatisfaction there there are different committees one is apex committee national committee to formulate the different uh, rules disciplines for the uh, modalities and another is executive committee which is chaired by me nationally and the national chairman of the executive committee for stakeholders from power and steel sector maybe around 60 Uh, NTPC, DVC, coal mining subsidies, and uh, all power, all, all big power plants. Everybody is member in that one. Uh, the their directors and EDs, executive directors, attend the meeting. And uh, this meeting we hold um, every one or two months. What our dispute is there, we try to resolve with that one. In case it fails, this will be referred to a press committee, where simpler NTPC, DVC. Uh, Association of Power Producers like Jindal Adani, they have their group. Uh, four uh, co-chairmen are there. They will resolve this in case it is uh, big one. So uh, right now, Simper being the one of the biggest uh, um, laboratory on coal testing, we can analyze around more than 2,500 samples for approximate analysis. Uh, in total, taking uh, help of Dhanbad, Ranchi, Bilaspur, Nagpur zone. Approximate analysis includes moisture, ash, volatile matter, and fixed carbon. Ultimate analysis, uh, where well, it is, this is not part of this meeting, uh, this uh, project, but this is required mostly for basic research. Uh, we analyze around thousand samples per day for ultimate, where elemental composition of the coal, C H N S O, is analyzed. Uh, grass graphic value again uh, we have capability to analyze more than 1500 samples per day but uh, generally we receive around 6 700 samples on average per day uh, it is well within our coverage uh, we analyze uh, equilateral moisture that is tds1 uh, uh, to know the equilateral moisture at 60% rh and 40 degree centigrade it takes around 72 hours to get the result This is the major hitch to uh, instantly produce the result for the coal grade, uh, because this is this has no automatic means for which Simper is start is going to start a project funded through NTPC, where we will try to minimize the time from 72 hours to maybe 12 hours, 24 hours, 36 hours. And uh, based on this, uh, grass graphic value will be calculated, and uh, whatever grade will be declared by Simper, uh, power plant uh, will pay to coal industry accordingly. And another uh, type of mission, national mission project, we have uh, uh, for boreholes. Whatever boreholes are generated from all Indian coal uh, virgin areas, coal mines, uh, that is also covered through our Simper uh, regional centers and Dhanbad. Uh, we can analyze 1.3 meters, 1.3 lakh meter of boreholes uh, annually, and uh, this will be amounting to 1.3 meter uh, lakh into 2.5, so about 4 lakh samples we are analyzing for boreholes also. In fact, we have capability to analyze, but most of the times we don't get that much samples. and like uh, in the here you can see the uh, how the sampling is being done our people are trained in the field in the lab and uh, to uh, go to field to follow our sop modality agreement and uh, unbiased way they have to collect the samples from even uh, railway wagons or trucks or silos or heaps what what Sample uh, coal deposit is there, coal dispatch is there at specific coal sites. Our team is very well trained. We have uh, more than 2,000 project residents. Uh, that is a part of Skill India. You can see uh, they have been very well trained as per BIS procedures. Uh, how to collect the samples? How to prepare the sample? How to seal the samples? How to analyze the samples in the lab? and how to declare the grades uh, we have uh, in total uh, around uh, 200 girls who operate all the automatic machines in the labs at bilaspur nagpur and rachi and uh, we have boys like engineers and msc or bsc students 
and geologic, uh, chemistry and uh, chemical engineering, mining, civil, mechanical, every stream. Uh, they are well trained to cover the sampling aspect in the field. And uh, we have all India presence. And uh, in the machinery wise, we are very highly equipped. We have uh, automatic analyzers of uh, Liku and Navas company, TGA machines. We have uh, bomb colorimeters of PAR and ICA make Germany and the USA. Uh, we have sulfur analyzer, we have elemental tower made uh, ultimate analyzers. Uh, we have FTIR, we have microwave icing furnaces, we have mercury analyzers, surface energy analyzers, FESCM machines, XRD machines. Uh, particle, size, particle size analyzers, many more. Whatever uh, uh, analysis we are required uh, through power sector and maybe steel sector and uh, coal sector, uh, uh, whether it is physical mechanical for borehole uh, lithological studies or coal related studies or even microscopic study, we are bearing, we are having uh, sophisticated microscopes also. Uh, uh, Lycomic DM4500 and DMRXP petrological microscopes and uh, producing the data. Here again one thing I can add here that in coal photography also uh, this lab is pioneer one uh, because in ICCP the main body globally International Committee for Coal and Organic Petrology where I am the executive committee member and also NABL accredited coal photographer. We conducted one uh, meeting and the brainstorming and seminar of ICP in Calcutta 2014. 2022 again we are going to have that meeting in Vigyan Bhon. And uh, uh, through petrographic studies we can very easily know the type and rank of the coal and in even uh, blending of the coal whether you are uh, interested to blend your coal for better uh, plant performance for uh, uh, power sector or uh, making the good blend for steel industry for blast furnace uh, injection in case you are interested to produce good coal. Which type of coal has to be blended in what ratio? Uh, coal photography fits very well in that one. Uh, for environmental studies also we are very well equipped. Uh, we are having most of the machines required for the disease soil related studies, uh, uh, water related studies, air pollution related studies. Uh, all type of things we are having in this campus and all Dhanbad campus, Himalay campus. And uh, uh, being impressed through our work of two years, uh, CSR technology was conferred on us. That was, uh, that was given by Honorable President of India and Vigyan Bhon on 26 September 2017. And uh, me and our group received the award at Vigyan Bhon. That's all.